Hey, what's up? It's Milk TV, and today I am gonna be showing you the streaming setup that a lot of you have been asking about. I finally had the time to make this video, so let's hop right into it. First and foremost, I want to show you guys my wall to the left. I have acoustic foams on it to help reduce the sound from bouncing when I am speaking. I also have a longboard deck on the middle. It has really nice art with colors that complement the colors of the foams. Next, moving on to the actual setup, I have two light sources, one on the left which serves as my main light. This one lights up my whole body, just enough brightness from my camera to capture the right details. My second light is a ring light which I use as a filler, so this is less brighter compared to the main light because its only purpose is to fill the right side of my face with just enough light to give a little bit of separation from the background. Next is my hand cam. It's an extra phone lying around the house so I decided to use it as a camera for my hand cam. It is attached to this arm thing which holds it above my desk which gives the overhead view of my phone that you see on stream. Moving on to my face cam, it is the Lumix G85 mirrorless camera. Got this one about 2 years ago. Photography and videography are some of my hobbies that's why I have this. This camera has been gathering dust on the shelves lately that's why I decided to use it as a face cam. Which is one of the best decisions that I made. Coming from a webcam to this one is a huge upgrade when it comes to quality with the extra advantage of using different kinds of lenses. On to my monitors. I currently have three monitors. The leftmost one I use for stuff that I want to show on my stream such as replays, whenever we have meme reviews, video reviews, basically anything that I want to show on stream goes to this monitor. My middle monitor, my main one, the chat goes here so I just have to look up from my phone to read the chat. Sometimes I put the stream health on so I can quickly see if the stream is lagging. Things that I consider really important goes into the middle monitor. Next, my rightmost monitor, I have the alerts here so I can quickly see who followed, shared, liked, gave stars, gave donations. It's an easy way for me to shout people out because I have a huge vertical list of alerts. I also have Spotify on here so I can monitor if we're playing copyrighted content just in case. In addition, I have my stream preview right here so I can quickly see if there's something wrong with the stream, such as the no signal that we occasionally get. Extra stuff or others go here as well, stuff such as folders, images I am preparing to show you, and temporary browser windows. Moving on to our navigation tablet right here. The purpose of this tablet is for me to quickly navigate between scenes on stream so for example, I want to switch between my normal scene and the huge face cam scene. I just press this button and it automatically does it for me. It also does other handy functions such as volume up, volume down, mute, mute microphone, record, saving replays, opening specific folders, and playing certain sounds that you hear on stream such as this. Next, this is my keyboard. It is mechanical and its brand is the DAS keyboard as you can see right here. I bought this from the US 10 years ago when mechanical keyboards were not that easy to find in the Philippines. It has blue switches so it's very clicky and noisy but it has a really nice feel to it. It's very comfortable typing on this otherwise I would have replaced this with a different keyboard. Moving on to my mouse, it is the Steel Series Kana V2. Didn't bother replacing it since it is still working even though it looks old and filthy. As long as it does its job, it is fine with me. Next is my phone which is usually on my phone stand. It is the iPhone XS Max. Considering that Call of Duty runs really well on iOS, I switched to the iPhone from the ROG Phone 2. If you're asking where my ROG Phone 2 is, I gave it to a random viewer via LBC, told him or her to keep it a secret so don't bother asking who. The phone is connected to this adapter which is connected to the charger and an HDMI cable that connects to my capture card right here which is the Elgato HD60S. Its purpose is to output anything that happens on my phone to my PC so I can stream it. If you ask me why go for the capture card compared to a mirroring app or software, a capture card processes data faster compared to any software so you get more quality and details which means a less pixelated output. Next one on the list is my audio interface or mixer at the back. This is where my microphone is connected to my computer. With this thing, I can control the volume, mute and unmute, and control the high and low notes of my voice by turning the knobs left or right to achieve the balanced, soothing voice that you all hear on stream. Moving on to my earphones and headphones, for earphones, I use these Apple earphones. 
Really old but I like it because it's comfortable to use for long hours. Before I was using the Audio Technica ATH M40X headphones right here but after prolonged use my ears get really warm which makes me start to sweat which is really uncomfortable so I decided to switch to the earphones instead. I still use these headphones but only for editing when I really need to separate the sound I need to hear from the background. Next is my microphone which a lot of you are probably curious about. It is the Shure SM58. It is a dynamic omnidirectional microphone which means it can only hear sound that's coming from where it's pointed at. This being a dynamic microphone does a really good job in not picking up background noise, especially noise or sound coming from the back which brings me to my mini speaker right here. Yes, I have an extra speaker. This is where the background music is routed to. So while I'm playing, I can only hear the sounds in game from my earphones while the background music is playing on that speaker. It is positioned right here so I can still hear a little bit of the music but my microphone doesn't pick it up since the sound is coming from behind. And finally, the PC itself. Just a quick rundown on the specs. Processor is Ryzen 5 2600. Graphics card is GTX 1060. 16 GB RAM, 3 customizable LED fans from Corsair and a white case with a clear glass cover so I can see what's inside. Very very generic if you ask me but I always keep it clean and maintained since this is what gives life to basically everything that I showed you earlier. Additional things to note are the interesting things that you see on stream, particularly these guys. I have a wooden owl right here, it makes me happy when I see it so I put it right there. I also have a boo mug from Super Mario, I bought this from a Nintendo store last year. It really catches your attention that's why I put it there. Next, I have a dangling Mikasa on my microphone arm. If you don't know who she is, my god. She is a character from Shingeki no Kyojin or Attack on Titan. I got her from Japan from what is called a gacha machine. It's a machine that you get small figures from, it's all around different shops in Tokyo. And I am very happy I got her instead of other characters since she is my favorite. It also makes me happy that she is dangling and moving right there when I move my microphone, that's why she is there. <laughs> and finally, the Rubik's Cube that sometimes magically gets solved and unsolved again. Before, I was using it as a phone holder but now that I have an actual phone holder, it's now retreated along with the others to the side. I do sometimes play with it when I'm bored, it's a nice feeling to just fiddle with it, kind of stress relieving if you ask me, so that's why it's there. So that is the whole setup and I guess that's it for this video. If you guys have questions or comments, maybe something you want to know more about, don't hesitate to comment. I will try my best to answer but for now, I'll have to leave you guys. Once again, this is Milk TV. If you like this kind of content, please do consider following my page. Only here at Milk TV where it is more than just a stream. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.